Yes, sir. Here I am on Lake Maxi Cookie, May 1st. No, May 1st. What am I saying? May 8th, 2021. It's been ridiculously cold out here. Here's keeper number one. Well, the, that fish was by no accident. I caught him on extreme bass tackle tube with a bite me tackle. Jig head in the middle or shoved in the middle, quarter ounce. Here's a promo code for saves money on bite me tackle in, 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 uh, excuse me, in the comments below or in the description below. And this has been crazy, crazy spring. It's been so cold. It was 28 degrees on my way to, to the ramp this morning. On May 8th, water temperature is 54 degrees. I mean, it should be. It should be in the 60s by now. Everything should be on bed spawning. I know there's going to be some bed fish caught today. Hopefully, I catch a few. But I'm starting off on the main lake on Lake Maxi, going after smallmouth. Hey, bonus largemouth right there. It's about 16 inches on this tube. I found a weed bed out here. And using my perspective, saw a couple fish on the outside edge. There's number one. There. Right species, wrong size. It's that formula G3 tube by Extreme Bass Tackle and my Bike Me Tackle tube jig. Size though, but I cast up onto some gravel. I know there's gravel there because I know the lake and immediately caught this guy. So that's, that's a good sign. Maybe they're uh, up on the rocks. Maybe they're getting ready to spawn. That's a good sign. You know, that's bed fishing. You ate my bait, set the hook, you just come popped off. Probably had, uh, you know, two thirds of that bait in his mouth instead of all of it. And uh, just tuck, stuck the edge of his mouth. So that's bed fishing. I believe it's a small mouth. It's kind of hard to tell, about five and a half foot of water. And the water out here is stained. I think it's a small mouth. So if that's the case, Everything's good because he'll he'll eat it, he'll bite again. That's how smallmouth are. They're pretty aggressive. Some might call stupid, but I love them. Yeah, I got him. He's gonna be a keeper, but he's not the big smallmouth I was hoping for. I think he'll be a keeper though. I don't know if you saw what happened. But safety tip for you, ladies and gentlemen. This tungsten weight that I get by 418 tackle popped off and smacked me right in the glasses. Now, <laughs> if I didn't wear my glasses, imagine the damage to my eyeball. Yeah, well, this one will definitely help me out, day. Having a blast with small mouth bass. Ah, that net ready, any? Lab, I get excited. I do too much yelling. Ah, ah, I can't eat nothing fish. Woo! Oh, I can't see more yet. Ah, ah. <laughs> Man. He ate it. Boy, did he eat it good. He's not the world's biggest smallmouth, but yes, that's my five fish limit. It's taken me about three hours. About three and a half to get five out here. And I found that fish. Boy, you can probably tell, see where the fish was on because of all this ripple. It just it literally took me about 15 minutes to finally pinpoint where his bed was. But uh, I even threw out a buoy. I tried to see him coming back and forth. I finally figured out where he was. And once I got that, and I got off the bed so I think part of the problem was I was on this bed so we went to get on it finally figured it out backed up put my bait in front of him took no time
Now that's having a blast with smallmouth bass. Boy, they're just out of control when they get them off of this. Yeah, so. You know what I'm doing is I just found the bed, put my boat in a position where it didn't spook them. Actually spooked him off, and then I just positioned myself off, waited five minutes, and then cast back to it. I couldn't see him, but he's back. And there's another one. Fish thumped it, broke the line on his hook set, which means I had a nick in it. Stink! I hate using the net. This, I don't even know what I'm doing with it. Probably better off just jumping in there with it than I was using a stupid net. Ah, come on. I'm a circus clown with a net. It's in this freaking net. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord, for letting me land it. Let me tell you, the net rig, uh, there is no company that makes better net head than the than bite me tackle already talked about them earlier promo code below in the description just fan casting out here that net rig around where i know there's bed and fish it wouldn't surprise me if he was on the bed although i don't see any markings on it but eh. Come right off of bed through that net rig at him, and boom. Oh, I should tell you, that's a jawbreaker. Bait by right, Yoders. At least feel to embarrass myself with the net again. Man, that's the best net job of the day for sure. He flipped right into both, or it's uh, two points, I should say. He jumped right into it. I don't think this is fish. Beautiful smallmouth. Bit it right way, but I'll double check. But he's not going to help my catch today. Crawl bait by Loch Ness Lures did the ticket. He actually come uh, eight feet off the bed to eat this thing. Yes, I finally had a good net jab. Woo! And of course, you know what hook I'm using. Bite me tackle. I gotta show you the stand up uh, jig head. Ooh, I stuck him good. And myself. See how good bite me tackle is? Yeah. That's that's a beautiful deal there. We'll see if he helps. This is an easy one, so one don't really help me. Oh, there. Woo! 
Ooh, really needed this one, guys. Yes. He was, man, he was so aggressive. Ate it, ate it basically immediately. Whew. That's gonna be a decent call for me. Yes.